Good morning, guys, YouTube people, world, who's ever, wherever's. <clears throat> Welcome back to Half Fast 719. I'm on my DOT day today. Get a day off. Um, so got home last night around 5, 5.30. Anyway, this morning I'm going to be installing this. T connector vehicle wire harness with seven pin blade trailer connector. Supposedly, this is a Kurt C U R T part. However, I feel that it is not. Um, basically, it says product will fit whatever 2010, 2014, 2500, 3500s with factory seven way. Um, when I bought this on the eBay, I did pay 22 something for it. Um, let's call it 23 bucks, free shipping. Uh, the Kurt one, I believe, is 60 or 70 bucks. <clears throat> I did check all the wiring. All the wiring looks legit. Um, it does all look the same as what's on my truck. It did call on the title. It did say... 2000 or maybe like 98 to 2006 f 250 or something like that on the title um but it was showing the same part number for kurt which i'll probably just put a link below for the ebay part i bought this is what i bought anyway um comes in a stinky little Chinese box stinks. That's why they wrap them with tape because th this product is super toxic. So they see all the toxicity inside the box with all the tape so that uh, sniffers, dog sniffers, whatever, they don't die from cancer from the smell of this. So anyway, so why not just have the consumer die of cancer? Anyway, it's America. We don't worry about cancer. Anyway, uh, yeah, it doesn't... I don't know if there's that much instructions. It looks like it's just a single piece of paper. Just says, put it in your bed. It says, mount this seven-way RV connector in your truck bed for quick, simple hookup for fifth wheel or gooseneck trailers. Custom harness plugs in line with your existing factory wiring so that you can retain the use of your vehicle's factory seven pole. Anyway, doesn't tell you, doesn't tell you what size hole the drill. And it just says all these vehicles. So you can pause the video. And see if your vehicle's on there. Because that's supposedly what it'll fit. And it's supposed to be direct plug and play. So now I'll do the math. And I'll have to figure out what size hole. I believe it's two and a quarter. Two and a quarter inch. But I don't know. Um, anyway. So I got to figure out where I'm going to mount this. Run the wiring. Ooh, look at that soft, soft open bed. Definitely a upgrade to have. Me, I'll probably, I'll probably mount it here next to this, depending on what's under the under there or there. Um, I don't think it's gonna matter either way. I think it might be a little easier to reach here plug it in as opposed to going all the way in there because I can come here plug it in I can come there plug it in or I gotta reach in and plug it in and when you got the trailer sitting here it might be more of a headache trying to reach back in there so looks like I'll probably do it right there so anyway guys let me figure out what size hole this is and uh yeah, I'll show you guys if I run into any issues. Obviously, it's seven feet. So from there to there is probably about four feet of wire. So I got to roll up three feet of wire. Um, and yeah, 
And then this way I can hook up this inside the bed instead of outside the bed. So, all right, guys. Let me get to it. And I'm going to drive the truck to work tomorrow, I believe, I think. So, I'll let you guys know if I run into any issues. Like I said, hopefully it connects. Everything's good. And uh, I'm loving these lights. These lights are pretty cool. I have not ran them at night, though. So, we'll see. All right, I'll be back with the finished, finished or ran into issue problems. All right, so ended up being a two inch, two inch hole saw, um, or two inch hole, I should say. So you do have to drill through one and like a quarter. So there's this, this piece was on the back. Then you have this piece the drill through first layer and just keep the thing in there so that it stays in this hole keep the hole saw in there just keep drilling and then pull that out and then i had a magnet cleaned up the metal shavings under the truck because i'm about to crawl under there take a paint pen get these at air, air gas and uh yeah you just paint the raw metal that you cut open um every time i get gas from air gas they always give me two markers so but that's because they know me and they're pretty cool guys i guess so, anyway um yeah so these screws are 5 16 so i thought they'd be stainless steel but i don't think they are because i don't they're pretty well magnetized, so anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit, the paint, and then uh, go from there. So we'll see how that does. I'm just gonna put some tools away real quick. And then uh, probably lay out the, lay out the wiring under the truck. And then hook it up. So, so far, not, not too bad of a deal. But, it is what it is. So, I'll let you guys know if I run into any other issues. But, for that, for that being said, that's it for now. We'll be back probably when it's finished. All right, all installed, pretty easy. All of uh, maybe a half hour. That's with getting tools out. That's with getting dielectric grease out. Basically, and zip tying everything. So, we have it up there, coming out. Got it zip tied to factory harness goes to I believe tail lights slack slack there got it up here zip tied up here got it zip tied into itself and then the connectors through some dielectric grease this connector to this and then this connector to the factory one so pretty basic pretty easy it's my uh, airbag line but that's pretty much it. Pretty easy install. And like I said, the link will be in the description below. So anyway, um, yeah, this is the remnants, the trash. So yep, I'll go throw some tools away or go put them away, I should say. And that's it. Now I got that in there. Um, the reason why I ordered this is because the the one I bought for the truck originally I used on the kids truck so um, I didn't know they made those I didn't know they made already pre-wired pre-loomed um, harnesses so yeah anyway 
getting dielectric grease all over everything. So, all right, guys, that's all I got. Um, pretty basic, pretty simple, pretty easy. And like I said, I think I paid 22, 23 bucks for it. So, and this is also trash here. So, like I said, I'm a, I might wash the truck. I don't know. I probably won't. I probably will not wash the truck. But might. But probably won't. I don't know. We'll see. I might wash it. I might take it out there, wash it. Because it's starting to get warm and those bushes need water. So we'll see how that goes. So, all right, guys, that's it. Um, also got to clean up some stuff. And uh, yeah, just going to kill time today and not kill myself too much. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. Later. Okay, bye.